Wow, what are they selling here? So, for this one, you have to order on the screen. I've never seen this before. So they're cooking it up here. They've got loads on the go here. Wow. And then you just go to a torture right as well. Hey, it's come out. Here we go. Zamida. Okay, this took a whopping 16 minutes to come out, so it better be good. That's spicy, that's got a real kick to it. <clears throat> I'm good with spicy, but that is really spicy. Anyway, it's tasty, but it just took such a long time to come out. Anyway, I'd give that 8, <coughs> eight out of 10. 8 out of 10. Wow, what do they have over here? Huge queue for this one. Looks like hot dogs. And you can order here. Well, there's a place to order over there as well. So you can actually order all the food from this food festival using these machines here. Oh, so it's already ready, which is nice and quick. And they're making it fresh over here. So you got to put ketchup on these things as well, like so. And a bit of mustard. Oh, too much. I'm happy this one was really quick to come out and apparently it's got coconut powder mixed with sugar on it as well. Okay, that's the best one I've ever had. Had a lot of Korean hot dogs and I think the mix of the coconut powder with the sugar is a really nice touch, really nice cheese in there, loads of cheese. It's got to be a tan. Is that the first time I've done a tan? It's got to be a tan. How can you improve on that? They're making it fresh for here. How do this? Boom, came straight out. That looks so tiring making those churros, so they better be good. They're kind of cold, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. They're good, but because they're cold, I have to give it like a six out of 10. I was expecting like piping hot churros. You get loads in a thing though, look at that. That's enough for like three people. If it was hot, I'd give it eight out of 10. Good quality chocolate inside though. It's kind of growing on me actually, but yes. Oh wow, what are they selling here in the station? Looks like some kind of bang. I think it's like a, from a different country, I'm not sure. It's definitely not Korean style, but. Oh, okay. It says it's New Zealand. Never heard of this, but yeah, some kind of bang. Hello, Annyeonghaseyo. Let's look at the different flavors. Red bean, shoe cream, milk, pizza. Oh, pizza. Cinnamon, cream cheese, almond, garlic. So you got savory and sweet ones. I'm sure they're all sweet though. I think it's got to be a cream cheese. Who's the mashi jay mashi zero? Ah, red bean and shoe cream. Okay, in that case, let's try a shoe cream. A shoe cream, can I just say? No. Such an onion. It's not hot, it's been sitting for a minute, but hopefully it's still good. Not bad at all, I just wish it was like fresh and piping hot. I'd say this one is like a 6.5 out of 10. Oh, wow, what are they selling over here? Looks like hot dogs. Yongnang hot dog. And you can order on the screen right here. So eat straight away. Huge menu, wow. I think it's ready, so it comes out through this hole here. Zamida. Wow, look at that. Covered in sugar. So this is the cheese hot dog, classic cheese hot dog with potato on the outside and loads of sugar. That's it, pretty simple. Next step is to cover it in the ketchup and honey mustard. Absolutely perfect. This is the reason why it's the best hot dog place in Korea, 10 out of 10. 
very hungry. Finish it in about two seconds. Oh wow, what are they selling here? It's like Bungo Pan. Ooh. Hello, Hello. Oh, it's good. Shoe cream, Bungo Pan. Okay. It's not easy. Three piece. Wow, making them fresh here. Look at this. That. So they pour the mixture from a kettle into the special machine. They've got the different fillings, red bean or shoe cream. What's on here? Three Really good, nice and crisp as they should be, and a nice hot custody filling. Nine out of ten. Oh wow, what are they selling here? Looks like a waffle place with cream or do they have an ice cream one? Very cool. With loads of different toppings. Which one should we go for? And as they are. Guban, is there? No. I wonder if we can see it being made. Maybe not. Pouring in the mixture. This one's the most complicated one. It has loads of different ingredients: Nutella, fresh cream, whipped cream, mozzarella cheese, and ice cream. Very exciting. Bungo milk. Ice cream. How much is it? Ah, chocolate, is there? Oh, it's ready. Wow, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. So much chocolate. This thing is so huge, there's no way I can eat the whole thing, but I'm going to try. Anyway, let's have a little taste. Really nice combination of flavors. You've got the chocolate ice cream in there. You've got mozzarella, which I can't really taste the mozzarella, but it's just kind of creamy. Lots of whipped cream in there as well, but this thing's absolutely huge. That's got to be like a 9 out of 10. That's incredible. Oh wow, what are they selling over here? Looks like a hot dog place and really big menu here. Look at all the variety. Never seen some of these before. Oreo hot dog. And here they are. Buingu hot dog. Let's see how they make it as well. So it doesn't take too long to make. So it's called Magic Seasoning. This is the one they usually put on chicken from BHC. I've never tried Buringu hot dog. Yeah. It's very famous. Yeah, I've seen it around, but it's the first time I've tried it. What is your YouTube side name? It's Welcome to Jerry. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> Thank you. Inside the suit is very hot. Okay, thanks so much. That's incredible. Look at that. It's huge. Definitely a different dimension when you compare it with a regular kind of sweet hot dog. It has the flavor of like cheese powder, similar to what they put on like a tornado potato or something like that, but it's good. It's very interesting to have kind of a cheesy powdery hot dog. I'd probably give this a 7.5 out of 10.